Hi everybody, we're here in Nazawa Onsen in Nagano, Japan. Uh, I'm here with Nagatori YouTube channel. They wanted to give you a bit of an insider look into Nazawa Onsen. Um, so my name is Tia, um, I've been here for nine seasons now and I live here full time. I'm going to try and show you around a little bit um, some of my favourite places and the reasons why I love Nazawa Onsen. First of all, we're going to take, we're going to go up onto the new gondola. Um, so the coronavirus measures that they've taken for um, is that you, everybody has to wear a mask or an neck tube. They also have um, windows at the top for ventilation and it's also very big so they only let a certain amount of people into each gondola so that there's allow for social distancing. You can see over behind me, you can see Mount Miyoko over to the, the left and then you can also see Togai Onsen just over there. And on the far left you can also, um, if it was a little clearer, you could see um, Madarao Kogan as well. Um, they're all ski resorts within one hour's drive, so you can also ride those from this point. Um, this gondola is just a new gondola, so it just um, opened last year. Um, so it gives you a different viewpoint of all the mountains, really nice view. You know. It also runs on in the summertime as well. Um, if Lots of people think that um, Nizal Onsen is just a winter resort, but summertime is also so beautiful. They run the gondolas for the mountain biking, so people can take their bikes up and then they do mountain biking courses all the way down. So if you're ever around in Japan in the summertime, highly recommend to come to Nizal Onsen then as well. Okay, so we just got off the Nagasaka gondola. The new gondola only takes nine minutes to get to the top, which means that you have a lot more ride time per riding time of the gondola so it's really good for if you want to get lots of laps in. Um, we're going to go to the very top of the mountain so we're going to take another two lifts to get to the top. Okay so we've just made it to the very top of Mount Kanashi. It's 1,650 metres high. Um, from this spot uh, to the very bottom of the mountain is um, 1,000 metres vertical. So the run if you took from here all the way down on the beginner run about 10 kilometers long, so very long runs here in Nazawa. There's also um, different points where you can um, take more intermediate runs and expert runs as well. So I think it's really great for families or people skiing together at different levels. You can take the same route but all meet up at different places, all ride different places that meet up at the bottom. Um, unfortunately, the clouds have just come in at the top here, so you can't see, but this is usually the point where you can see from all around with a 360 view. Um, so we're here on Skyline, which is one of my favourite runs. It um, follows the ridge all the way down from the very top to the bottom. And I really like the way that you can see the whole valley and the mountains of the view the whole way down. It's really beautiful. Um, so we made it to Buna and uh, this is my favourite restaurant to eat on the hill because of the view. Unfortunately today you can't really see the view but um, you can see the windows on the restaurant allows you to see over the valley and it's really beautiful. Okay, all the places in town have hand sanitizers. Please make sure you do that in the, on the way into the restaurant. This restaurant's been running for 34 years so it's very popular around the town. Um, the curries in, in Buna is really delicious. I'm going to get the curry with the katsu, which is a pork cutlet, and an onsen egg. Mm. I got the onsen tamago. I'm going to show you how to cook it later. Mm. So now we're at the Hikage area. Um, there's a ski school and information center in there. Onegaishimasu. 
We're going to take the lift now and to get to the top of the zip line. So the zip line is 652 metres long and um, the elevation is 122 metres. So apparently you can get up to 72 kilometres on it. It's my first time, so I'm super excited. Eight, three, 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 <laughs> that was actually pretty fun. That was fast. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> so close to the uh, zip line centre, the Chicago centre, is a um, nice coffee shop over here. Let's go get a coffee. So we're just at Shichirohe Coffee uh, Cafe on Hikage. They also have a um, downstairs. They have a rental shop where you can rent your gear, and that means that you can leave all your gear up here, so you don't have to walk up and down the hill. Have a little coffee and cookie break before we go down the hill. So we're just being. We're going to take the U road down, which is a moving walkway that goes into a different part of town. So we're going to go and see that now. Okay, here we go. So we made it to the bottom of the the U road, um, and now we're going to go have an onsen. So one of the best things about being in Nizawa Onsen is that after a ski, after you ski or snowboard, you can have an onsen. Um, there's 13 natural spring onsens in the town that are completely free. Um, so we're going to take an onsen at this one, which is called Kuma no Te Arayu. Um, so the actual translation for that is um, bare washing hand, because it's said that um, years ago, somebody first found a bear washing their hand um, as, as a wound there. So it was bathing in the onsen to heal it. So lots of people, if they get burns or if they have any skin problems, they say that this is the best onsen to come to for your skin. So just on the opposite side of the onsen, um, there's these little boxes here. It's got hot water in here that's 75 degrees Celsius. Um, and you can cook eggs in here. So you put them in, set a timer on your phone for this one's 14 minutes. Go have an onsen and then come back out and they're ready to eat. So this is what it looks like once it's cooked. Yeah. Perfect. Onsen, put your shoes on the rack when you step onto the wooden plate. Um, and then each onsen will have a section like this. So you take all of your clothes off until you're completely naked, put them in here. Um, this one's got um, blocks out so, so that not so many people can have it because of the corona at, the, at this time. Um, and then once you're completely naked, you walk down to here and on the side of uh, the bar, you use the bucket to wash yourself and once you're completely clean then you get into the bath. So both baths, this one has two baths, so one's a little bit cooler than the other one. This one's hotter than this one is. They change temperature depending on how many people have been in the onsen. But they range from about 43 degrees to 47 degrees. So it's really good for after your onsen for your muscles. So here we are in the main street which is called Oyu Street. Um, we're going to stop in and have a little sweet snack after our onsen. We're going to have agepan, which is uh, fried bread with cinnamon. Here you go, here's your popo latte and your uh, kinoko agepan, deep fried bread. This is a very traditional flavor in Japan, it's called kinako. Kinako is a soybean powder. Uh, it's very commonly used in Japanese wagashi, which is Japanese uh, treat. Uh, and then this one's a little bit more traditional for the western side, uh, cinnamon sugar. Yum, thank and then you. we've got our popo latte, which is popo gyunyu, um, local uh, source milk. 
gonna start with this one. Back in my It's really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like this. I might have a look in the shop. Oh, wow. Okay. So now we're in the main street. We're in the main street again where we just had the, the buns. Um, on the left we've got a supermarket. This is the main supermarket in town. And then on the right we've got Nanda Monja, which is a souvenir shop. Um, they also make, uh, they print their own t-shirts and jumpers so you can get something printed and it's ready by the next day. Tommy on the right, which is a liquor store. Liquor and snacks and some drinks in there. We have another Omiyage souvenir shop on the left. Okay, so this is uh, Oyu Onsen, so it's at the end of the main street. Uh, it's probably the most beautiful looking onsen of the 13 free onsens, and it's got very old architecture. So now uh, at the end of the main street, we're gonna go up this road here to Ogama. We've made it to Ogama. Um, so this is where the onsen water starts from and then filters down to the rest of the onsens that are in town. Um, it's also a cooking onsen. It's for locals only to do, but um, people come and they use the really hot water to do just like the, we did before with the eggs, or they'll you do the nozawana here as well, or different vegetables, whichever that they do. They um, rope it off for locals only so that people don't get caught thinking that it's a normal onsen because this one's actually at 90 degrees so it's a little bit hot to get into. Okay so now I'm going to start from showing you some restaurants um, for dinner but first of all we're going to stop at Ivy for some cheese and wine. Uh, red. Red? <laughs> Do you like a dry wine, sweet wine? Start with the lightest, just the Montepulciano. This one is a Nero Diavola, it's a Sicilian red. It's a little bit bigger than the last. The last of the pouring ones, this is the biggest of the three for sure. Mm -hmm. This is a Syrah Malbec. Mm -hmm. Maybe can I take that one please? Yes. So we have a homemade fruit slice. This is a house-made apple ginger jam with almonds. Some muscatels. This is the blue camembert. Some house-marinated olives. This is a parma jamón from Spain. And some house-pickled onions. Itadakimasu! Oh, good. Mm. This is the house marinated mushrooms mm. with goat's cheese. So oh, nice to have um, cheese and wine. So I think the great thing about Nazawa Onsen is once you're actually here, it's really easy to get around from one end of the town to the other end of the town, um, from the gondola to the accommodations and the restaurants is all within about 15 minutes walk. So I hope that you've enjoyed the little tour around the Zao Onsen. Um, it's a really beautiful town. So the fact that you can walk around everywhere, um, you can ski and onsen. Um, it's a really small town so it's got it's a really, got a really homely feeling to it. It's got really nice vibes. So I hope that you can make it to the Zao Onsen. Um, in the Zao Onsen there's so many good restaurants that you can eat at. There's really really good Japanese local restaurants um, but you also have a bit of international food like this so um, you've got lots of other restaurants that you can choose a big variety that you can eat. Um, I hope that today's been a good example of what a day in Nazar onsen looks like for you. Um, skiing and onsen and apre and also dinner. Um, yeah thank you for watching. Uh, tori. YouTube channel. Um, if you like it, please press like or subscribe to the channel. Thank you.